Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This video is on the SWOT analysis, like strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Now, if you have suppose four different players and you want to see the, if you want to see see the scoring of each player or each person, if you are in nature, so you can see the options like so strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. So there are criteria. So this is a form which is very normally used. So this can be like this is a ranking. And this is a scoring, and based on this score, you can first strength and all. You can give the scoring and you get the answer. And uh, these are the. Uh, this is the area where it it has to be calculated. But if you want to be something more professional, you can see that instead of making something objective, you can make it in the subjective way where you can write something, you can redefine some areas and that can give you a, a better look up and you can straight that what actually these numbers are. So it's more effective than the than the other uh, than the other ones. So how to create this and we can see there are two different ways. So first, I'm going to tell you, show you the simple way. Uh, now here you can see that here I can select the. If, you, if I increase the font, I can select the criteria. I can see the criteria. But uh, unfortunately, here I cannot select when I try to click, it is not showing up. That is the reason because it is. I have been mentioned that. Sub criteria will these are the, the sub criteria will be only visible without without weightage no sub criteria will be visible so we have to give this weightage and the main one if you if I select this and if I make it strength and now you can see that this is being visible but again again if I show you if you make this into a zero and if I again to so you can see that I'm trying to click this, but it's not operational. So that is the reason that that is if you make 25 or whatever, you can see that. See the reason for that is the formula. So now I have made this formula. It's in the indirect. So I have added or if it is zero or empty, then this formula is going to work. So I don't want to waste time in showing you how to write this formula and data validation. You can refer to this video. This video I have made the complete uh, video on this. So I will be sharing you in the link below. So now the purpose for the making this video is just to show you the snap. How this can be done in both the ways. So the formula is very very simple over here. So I have player 1 and this uh, I have made the grouping. If you want you can see the groupings can be done. So for strength, weakness, and opportunity, so both should be, both should be visible. If any one is gone, then as I showed you, it will not be showing up. So both this should be visible. So the formula is like uh, equals to open the parenthesis, and this is e twelve divided by phi. Close the parenthesis. Multiply by now this is the weightage parameters. So I'm going to click F4, 1, 2, and 3, and I'm going to hit enter. So you can see the score. If I select the highest score, it is going to get the highest marks. So the same way I just copy this control C, I'm going to paste it here, control V, and uh, here also I'm going to paste control V. Now, whatever if I can select, you can see. So I have to select the. So if I say, if I come down and you can see, but here I have to select the scoring. So now you can see this. So this is the one of the ways so you can get the total scoring. 
so scoring will be here so now i'm going to see with the uh, with a better predefined area where i can select this so this all the criteria has been selected from here which has been more in clear format so you can see this so you can see for this the formula over here is not going to work here so this has a predefined very lengthy formula which is this one this is the formula so you can see this is the this is the formula so i don't want to waste time again on this thing so i will be making a sure there is already a video on this and if you click on this thing, i'm going to select this link and this video i'll be showing you so now you can see the scoring as you can see the scoring so if you make this the scoring automatically goes down and based on the scoring you can select the rank so this is going to give the rank for the first one this is the third one and this is the second one so these are the two ways where you can do the sort analysis and uh, if you find it difficult just let me know in the comment section if you want i can make a re video on this with the each uh, minute details but it will be a lengthy and boring video so here is how you can get the ways you can make a swot analysis and uh, thanks for watching the videos and please subscribe to my channel and share this video so that many people can understand the swot analysis and how to make it in the excel sheet so see you in the next video thank you very much